The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. If they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and their years in pleasantness. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for prosperity and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, in all that he does he prospers. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. The Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers, when you obey the voice of the Lord your God, to keep his commandments and his statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues with injustice. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him is he who bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face various trials, consider it all joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance complete its work, so that you may be complete and whole, lacking in nothing. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. The Lord knows the days of the blameless, and their heritage will remain forever. They are not put to shame in evil times. In the days of famine they have abundance. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according 
to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Bless our Lord, O peoples, let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. Whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share, thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of that which is truly life.